Hi hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be discussing about Ace Limited, that is Action Construction Equipment Limited, right? So first thing first, when you see, when you look at the business model, right? I I have covered it in depth in my previous videos, but just to give you a gist of what is happening in Aces, Ace manufactures and sells cranes. That is one of their major part of the portfolio. That is cranes contribute around sixty nine to seventy percent of their total revenue. Okay, unlike Sangvi Moors, which is another listed company, these people buy cranes from companies like Ace and and sell it like lease it or rent it out to other companies whereas ace is involved in purely manufacturing and selling the uh, whether it is crane the construction equipment material handling equipment and agricultural equipment when you talk cranes of course you'll know there is two kinds one is the tower cranes and that which is the stationary cranes and your moving cranes in terms of construction equipment is the backhoe loaders i think uh, commonly called as jcb uh, i think a lot of people would be familiar with that and the other one is your material handling equipments which are used in your warehouse right to lift like Like heavy objects from one place to another, such as forklift. And when you talk about your agricultural equipments, one of the things is like tractors and the other things, right? So this is the overall uh, overall what Ace does. They manufacture and they sell it. Now let's talk about the Q2 FY24 result in glance, right? So as you all know, Q2 is usually a monsoon season. It is very lean compared to any other quarters, right? And uh, it it has been for the first time for the first time in the company's history that Q2 also has been out of the park. Like um, uh, another. the surprising factor has been that you know every time for the last the last quarters you know the, the 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 current quarter would always be better than the previous quarters right they would have been doing the highest revenue the highest margin and the highest profitability and right now even in this quarter like it is so surprising that due to being the leanest quarter they again performed you know like the best i mean it has been the best quarter for them compared to any other quarters right and i i think this was sort of expected because if you look at the last last q1 that was Sorry, not not last Q one, but the the last quarter. Ah, uh, the Sora Bagarwal, who is the executive director, he's been working in this company since nineteen nineteen ninety eight, and you know he told you know ah uh, he he told he had mentioned that last time you know it, it I have been working in this company since nineteen ninety eight, and I've never seen the kind of demand that we're seeing, especially in a monsoon season. Like he was just so flabbergasted, you know, by by seeing the kind of demand that the company was witnessing. So, ah, uh, in in terms of if you see the top line again, that you know. Uh, the company usually guides for the 20 to 25% kind of growth uh, and they have done the top line 38% of course way way more than the expectations in terms of qoq the top line has grown by 3.5% on a quarter on quarter basis now if you look at the pat also the pat has doubled on a year on year basis and it's up 9% so both on a year on year basis as well as the qoq basis you can see an operating leverage right and of course the pat margin of course if the pat doubles right even the pat margin will also improve so you, the pat margin also has improved from 6.9% to 10.7% and right now uh, the export revenue is contributing i think around, around 10% of the revenue which is something they've also been focusing on you know they want to take the export portion of the book higher and higher uh, throughout the next year so uh, not 10% sorry it is 12% uh, my bad it, the export revenue right now is contributing to 12% of the uh, revenue so volumes has grown for all the three segments uh, um uh well, how, which is that cranes material equipment and the construction segment everything agriculture mein thoda little bit you know the demand has not been that that robust because of of course one is there has been change in norms in terms of your tractors right the tractors were changing uh, uh you know to certain norms and there has been little bit inventory that is left so a lot of companies are trying to get rid of that inventory so uh, and and also right this time uh, q2 mein thoda to uh, because it is monsoon season of course nobody will be buying tractors right Now, usually people buy tractors during the harvest season or you know during the start of the before you start your agricultural agricultural uh, or or the farming right so overall in terms of if i have to talk about you know just looking at the income statement and everything at a glance the result has been really good now if you have to deep dive and look at what the management has told you know in terms of um, you know what is happening in the corn call first let us look look go into the segment wise what has been the growth and what has been the margins right like if you look at cranes the cranes uh, grew 30% on a year on year like the crane part of the book grew 30% year on year and the margins has been around 15% this is interesting because they always guided for 15 to 20% for cranes and now it is 30% second is in construction equipment construction equipment ka base is very small but although having said that construction equipment also grew 100% on a year 
here on your basis and the margin here is 12.72 one of the reasons for construction equipment to grow like agar aap, you know the back hole loaders hoga and all those construction equipment is because you are seeing right like abhi jo infrastructure ka project hai uh, because a lot of government initiatives are being put whether aap roads dekh rahe ho nhi ne itna roads ka plan banane ka you know uh, construct karne ka plan diya hai in terms of if you have to see uh, the other projects whether it is in telecoms or you know uh, building bridges building hospitals you're seeing a lot of influx here in infra so it is given that you know why the construction equipment has grown so much the third one is your material handling equipment jo matlab aap wo warehouse mein use karte ho right uh, uh, i think one of the easiest way if you don't know what material handling is just google forklift uh, or if you watched office ever you would have seen that in the warehouse you know that in that series the uh, uh, the uh, those, those kind of machines so anyways we are digressing but anyways coming back uh, material handling equipment grew 26% on a year on year basis and uh, the margins has been 12.8% over here ठीक है एग्रीकल्चर का ग्रोथ हैज बीन 33% मार्जिन इज 4% बिकॉज़ लाइक आई टोल्ड यू द द इन्वेंटरी हैज टू बी यू नो दे हैव टू लाइक सेल दैट इन्वेंटरी एंड फॉर सर्टेन टाइम्स विल हैव टू लाइक टेक अप यू नो टू गेट रिड ऑफ द इन्वेंटरी विल टेक अ प्राइस कट सो ऑफ कोर्स द मार्जिन कैन कम यू नो कैन कैन बी कॉन्ट्रैक्टेड बट बट हैविंग सेड दैट ओवरऑल ग्रेट लाइक ऑल द ऑल द हाउ डू आई पुट दिस ऑल द सेगमेंट्स हैव हैड गुड ग्रोथ एंड आल्सो द मार्जिनस हैव बीन सस्टेन ठीक है नाउ लेट अस गो एंड सी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ केपेक्स आर हैव they been doing right because if you see right now we, we are telling that the demand will be there uh, so you will need to put up extra capacity to cater this demand like last time you know they were doing this brownfield capex uh, uh, from the start of the year uh, from the start of last year is something they have been talking about at least since hq about this brownfield capex and uh, this brownfield capex jo hai uh, already 75% of this capex is done and it should be operational in q4 like fully operational hoga is saal ka q4 mein and right now is saal ka q3 which is the next quarter mein thoda partially operation hoga now one of the reasons why this brownfield capex is important is because jo abhi current plant hai wahan pe dono forklift aur tower crane ek hi plant pe banta hai so as a result you know there is always the minimum like how do you do you know the maximum capacity you can reach over there right so not a lot of forklift also you are able to do not a lot of crane also you are able to do because of the, the uh, because of the lack of space now with this uh, with this uh, capex that is there um, instead of manufacturing both at the same plant you know they can they can shift uh, they can shift to the new plant and have a lot of space iske wajah se forklift ka capacity jo hota hai production jo hota hai will go up by 40% and tower crane ka jo production hai it can go up by 50% right and uh, in case this like what at full utilization jo hoga like because usually jo capex aap karte ho for that plant to reach that 100% utilization or 80% or you know whatever the max capacity or the optimal range it is at it will take 2 to 3 years theek hai so similarly here also if the if the cap if the new capacity is running at full utilization so this will help them achieve at least 400 for sorry 4000 crore in terms of top line theek hai so of course right like because like i told you it will increase the capacity of of, of forklift and um, tower cranes by you know 4 to 5x that is 40 to 50% respectively jo hota hai theek hai now other thing one of the thing is like uh, you would have seen that uh, uh in terms of competition jo hai so first thing i would like to highlight is you would see agar a balance sheet mein dekhte ho thoda to inventory is increased now one of the reason is q2 mein they 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 uh, uh q2 mein utna sale nahi hota hai and q3 people there is a influx of sale theek hai as a result they have to like keep keep certain inventories keep certain things manufactured and ready because you all know you are talking about this big it's not like a manufacturing shoe and all right shoe or a fmcg ka product it is huge equipment you are talking about so as a result because they see a demand like in terms of you know festive season mein thoda demand badhta hai usually october and november mein sales zyada hote hain compared to any other months so as a result they have kept this uh, inventory in hand to address the demand and the, and you all know right for these kind of companies h2 q3 and q4 q4 to out of the park than q3 q3 and q4 is always better than q1 and q2 so as a result that the other thing i think everybody has been stressing about is in terms of competition kyunki ek european company hai called uh, lebar i might be I'm, i might not be pronouncing it right but lebar jo hai they they have been they are setting up a new plant in india theek hai aur ye lebar jo company hai which it is it stands number 2 in the whole world in terms of cranes like it is the best in terms of crane now here is a thing it is not something new this this company has been in india for the last 15 to 20 years so it's not like you know they are coming to the market all of us are no not like that and unka jo 
एक प्लान था वो ऑलरेडी एक छोटा प्लान था सो दिस इज अ बिगर प्लान दे पुटिंग अप सो दे डोंट सी एस डजेंट सी एनी एनी कंपटीशन इन टर्म्स विद दिस यूरोपियन कंपनी बिकॉज़ वन ऑफ द रीजन इज यू नो दीस पीपल एस हैज बीन आल्सो इन द इन द बिजनेस फॉर द लास्ट ऑल्सो दे लेबर हैज बीन इन द बिजनेस इन इंडिया फॉर द लास्ट 15 टू 20 इयर्स सिमिलरली एस आल्सो हैज बीन इन द बिजनेस एंड एस का जो टेक्नोलॉजी है जो जो कैपेबिलिटीज है इट इज एज इक्वल टू दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ सो दे डू नॉट सी एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ थ्रेट दैट कम्स आइदर लेट्स से अगर यूरोपियन या जापानीज कंपनी लाइक यू नो कम्स एंड पुट्स अप अ प्लांट हियर बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट लाइक यू नो एनी ऑफ दीस कंपनीज आर सुपीरियर इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कंपेयर टू एस राइट सो नथिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो अगर मैं बात करूं तो एक एक चीज है कि लाइक दीस पीपल आर वर्किंग ऑन टू न्यू मॉडल्स ठीक है कॉल लोडर एंड टेली हैंडल जो कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट जो है दे आर दे आर डूइंग दैट एंड बट दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू सेल इट इन इंडिया इट इज ओनली फॉर द एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट ठीक है सो दैट इज दैट इज अनदर थिंग the another another uh, another uh, what is that uh, another part i would like to highlight here is in terms of aap jo dekhte ho jo bhi vehicle hote hai one of the risk comes is regulation because regulation mein kya hota hai people the the regulatory body can come and change the norms right ye norms like you would have seen bs1 to bs2 bs3 to bs4 so abhi jo ho raha hai construction equipment hai like commonly known as you know the company name jcb right we we all call that कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज जेसीबी वहां पे क्या हो रहा है दी कंस्ट्रक्शन एमिशन नॉर्म इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम बी टू बीएस5 ठीक है सो यहां पे जो भी नॉर्म है इट विल स्टार्ट टू किक इन फ्रॉम अप्रैल 1st बट राइट नाउ दी एस एंड द एसोसिएशन दैट इज देयर ये सबका एसोसिएशन होता है ना कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट जो भी मैन्युफैक्चर कर रहा है दे टोल्ड दैट द टाइम इज नॉट इनफ बिग टू गेट रिड ऑफ द इन्वेंटरी टू गेट द न्यू इन्वेंटरी इन द मार्केट एंड एवरीथिंग द टाइम इज नॉट इनफ टू लाइक यू नो फॉर दिस फॉर फॉर दिस टू किक effectively from april 1st so they have spoken to the association to uh, to defer it to 6 to 8 months so probably you know by the end of the year next year this this uh, uh, this emission norms will kick in and it will also give as a sufficient time you know to to help in terms of uh, getting rid of the inventory or changing and everything theek okay? hai and in terms of like value mein ye kaisa affect hoga like you know how it will get affected uh, to the uh, to the existing existing construction equipment hai like let's say if there is an engine uh, engine जो व्हीकल में जाते हैं विच इज लेस देन फिफ्टी हॉर्स पावर तो उसमें थोड़ा क्या होगा वो स्मॉलर इंजन में तो प्राइस रेंज होगा लाइक इन सॉरी प्राइस प्राइस रेंज होगा विल बी इन द रेंज ऑफ फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ठीक है सो मोर बिकॉज दे आर मूविंग फ्रॉम बी एस थ्री टू बी एस फाइव दैट इज वाई वो स्मॉलर इंजन में थोड़ा ज्यादा प्राइस होगा इन इन द रेंज ऑफ फाइव टू टेन परसेंट सो इफ इट इज एनीथिंग सॉरी सॉरी आई थिंक आई आई स्पोक इट रॉन्ग एनीथिंग फिफ्टी हॉर्स पावर एंड लेस फिफ्टी हॉर्स पावर एंड लेस आर smaller engines theek okay? hai so in these engines what happens since they are moving from bs3 to bs5 right as a result they have to the price hike here will be in terms of 5 to 10% so yahan pe thoda value value jo hota hai it will be a lot why it is important because you know for certain people it can be a price pinch right so what happens is usually when this norms change and price hike hota hai thoda sa sometimes sales uh, you know for for a certain period of time it can fall back because of this you know people until people get accustomed to this new price on the other hand jo 50 हॉर्स पावर है उससे ज्यादा इंजन 50 हॉर्स पावर एंड मोर व्हिच इज दिस बिगर इंजंस इन द बिगर व्हीकल्स यहां पे द यहां पे द एमिशन नॉर्म्स आर मूविंग फ्रॉम बीएस4 टू बीएस5 सो एज अ रिजल्ट सिंस इट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम बीएस4 टू बीएस5 द प्राइस हाइक इज यू नो ऑफ 5% एंड लेस बट 50 हॉर्स पावर एंड लेस जो था दैट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम बीएस3 टू बीएस5 एक यू नो देयर इज अ ह्यूज जंप बीएस3 टू बीएस4 टू बीएस5 राइट एज अ रिजल्ट द प्राइस हाइक विल बी द रेंज ऑफ 5 टू 10% सो दिस इज वन थिंग टू नोट डाउन बट हैविंग सेड that you know ye jo bhi change in emission norms ho rahe like i told you it is something to be done by the end of next year so as a result you know there's a lot of time for all of this to effectively come into picture right and the other thing is uh, as has recently introduced this electric cranes theek hai i don't know if you could i don't have the picture right now but uh, agar aap unka investor ppt mein jaate ho i think it's either this blue or neon green color ka crane aap dekh sakte ho so it is this 180 tower ka crane you know and an electric crane and it is as capable as a normal crane also another thing they're not able to sell this is because see whenever you have to get out a new vehicle uh, a, a new category of vehicle what happens is the, the there is a, a authority right like authority or a body which puts out the rules uh, 
you know, okay, like, ye, ye sab hona chahe, whether it could be the safety rules or, you know, what are the necessary uh, requirements that the vehicle should have before it goes onto the road. So this board is called the Central Motor Vehicles. And this, uh, what has happened is they, they didn't anticipate that, you know, okay, like electric cranes might come this soon to India. So they have not set up the rules and everything, you know, uh, have given the guidelines for that. So until the guidelines come, these people can't sell it. Nah? These people can't get it into the market. So because of that, there has been a bit hindrance in the, in the electric cranes coming into the market one of the reasons electric crane is better is because of course they are a bit of high margin product compared to your normal cranes right that is another thing so this also should be done by q4 company should be able to q4 uh, if not it could be delayed by another quarter so that is uh, that is another thing another thing also uh, so all in all a good thing right you can see everything is going on well here another thing is like company is getting good order book even from the defense segment also right even there they're getting order on a regular basis um, uh, it, it is a plus point. It is a win point here. So overall, I think I've covered everything. Uh, the last thing I would like to highlight is in terms of demand, right? So demand, if I have to tell, there is nothing. Um, like, see, on one side, you have the entire play of infra, the entire play of industrial sector, private capex, public capex. It is all going good. It is all going well, according, uh, uh, you know, and everything. The risk here remains that if there is a global economy slowdown, let's say due to the war or anything, that is one of the risks. But I, I I don't think because we've it's already been two months into the war and I don't think anyone sees a big impact. That is number one thing. The second thing is, of course, there is a, you know, Indian economy right now, as you speak, is very buoyant, right? Like I told you, public investment remains strong and everything uh or only thing is like you know uh in terms of the agriculture segment that i was talking about uh, one of the reasons the agriculture to zyada ta zyada rural mein hi hota hai. and rural mein kya hua hai? consumption and demand has been a bit low you would have seen in any fmcg ho, footwear mein ho. you can see right Abhi bhi unka inflation mein, inflation ka pressure hai pe, rural area mein. and of course the unseasonal rain ke se aur bhi pressure padta hai. so maybe because of that you know there a little bit rural area may demand is little bit you know not right and it could you know possibly possibly like i'm telling prob possibly and probably could impact that agricultural equipment ka ek sale, right uh and other than that everything is great green shoot is visible in terms of you know festive season a strong festive season private capex is good manufacturing has been the highest we've been manufacturing you know in india has been doing so all in all in terms of this the external factor external uh are both sector the tailwinds are very strong the other tail uh, the other headwind that could be is the elections are coming up and as you all know elections ke aane se pehle, that six months that are there a lot of people do not take a, a construction orders from the government and uh government and everything because they're scared that if the other government comes up right the opposition government comes up then what happens they can come and change the entire project and everything and these people have to take a loss so the only only risk remains the the fact that you know the uh the uh, the elections and you know the other government coming up uh because of which the entire uh private capex and public capex ka jo demand hai can go whoosh so this is one important factor to note down in terms of let's just just wrap it up by looking at the outlook Although the demand has been, you know, they, they are highlighting about that election and stuff, the company has revised the guidance. In, earlier, they, uh, in the crane segment, jo hota hai, in crane segment, they told they will grow by 18 to 20 percent. And now they're telling crane segment ka growth over 25 percent. And this is very important because crane segment grows, uh, crane segment contributes around 70 percent of the revenue. So the fact that they're revising guidance on the crane segment is a huge, big, like a huge positive sign. Take care, that is one. Then, uh, jo previous guidance, tha, ki, like construction segment segment or your material handling segment oh, that still remains intact that is construction segment will grow 50 percent and material handling and agriculture segment will grow 15 to 20 percent which is also great because right now this quarter me you saw that the construction segment in spite of a lean quarter grew 100 percent on a year on year basis so overall uh the the how do i tell you the the guidance remains intact the same the top line will grow at uh you know 25 percent and the margins will be around uh 15 percent and uh you know they had told ki, like fi24 mein unka revenue jo hai, top line this sorry not fi23 this this year fi24 ka revenue hoga 2400 crore which i think they have already done by h2 and by fi27 they want to double the fi24 ka revenue so again this this is a uh, this uh this will be i mean this again depends on the fact you know like uh the entire public and private capex how it is going it is all 
uh, if, uh, until now, I think in FI24, they doubled their revenue. The three years back, of your revenue, tha, they already doubled it. They, they, they walked the talk in the last two to three years. But FI24 to FI27, mein kya hoga? if they will be able to do the same thing what they did in the last three years, will completely depend upon the external demand and the you know how the entire demand is playing out in terms of public and private capex. Because these kind of companies heavily, heavily depend on that. Okay? So other than that, um, uh, like I told you, again, this depends all on the macro environment and the and the elections and the current government. That is that is all are there. Like I told you, the management again reiterated the fact that you know ki they want to increase the guidance. They, they probably give more guidance after twenty five. Uh, what they can do uh, right now, they've given top line will grow at excess of twenty five percent. They wanted to revise the overall top line guidance, but it will be based on Q three performance because Q three will go idea milega. They also don't want to increase the guidance because the overall macro condition and the coming elections. Uh, and right now, as we talk, the base is also increasing, right? Like last, if you have to compare, if you this year, ka compare to last year, mein, last year the base was less because people were just coming out, you know, the, everything was getting, uh, the construction was just starting and everything. So right now on this next year, if you growth, dekho ge, it will be compared with this base and this base is already higher. So overall, the macro conditions, the coming elections, and, and maybe if there is a change in government and the government rules and, you know, the high base effect, these four things remain a cause of concern and cause of risk. The other thing is, last thing I would like to highlight is valuations. Of course, the stock is not definitely cheap in terms, if I have to tell, because uh, you know, if you buy cyclical stock, you usually buy them at you know low low PE and low market cap, and you play the entire journey of you know uh, uh, play uh, play the entire journey where it reaches a high PE and high market cap. But having said that, having said that, right? If there is growth, if there is if they can do what they can do right now if for the next three years, you know there is no stopping, right? That, that is also there. Also on the other hand, it is a double edged sword. They have been growing at least like at minimum 35 to 40 percent, sometimes at even at 60 percent for some quarters. So right now, if wo growth may thodi bhi aan chaati hai na, then these kind of stocks will fall and crumble. Wo pace of growth may thodi si bhi aan chaati hai at this valuation, then the market will also not be forgiving. So yeah, so that's that about ACE. Uh, yeah, and I hope I did it justice. And uh, again, uh, thank you and uh, see you next time. Ta-ta. Bye.